Hey everybody, Sean Tierney here from the automationblog.com with part eight in my series covering my favorite new products from Automation Fair 2017. Now I didn't go myself, but I'll put a link to the guide I'm using to find what was new and to make my picks. So feel free to check out that link to pick out your own favorites from the show. But uh, I'm doing these in order that they're going to be released. And this one is not supposed to be out until July 2018. And I actually saw this at the show last year. This is the Compact Logics 5480. And what they've done is they've taken that 5380 Compact Logics and they've put, to, put in it an industrial computer. So not only do you get a Compact Logics controller, you get a Windows 10 industrial computer all in one package. And they even add in an extra Ethernet port for the computer side. So it's a pretty cool idea and product. And uh, the fact that it can do up to 31 local I.O. modules, local, uh, you know, Compact 5000 or 5069 I.O. modules is very cool. That said is, how many people are going to need a Compact Logix with the computer bolted on the side of it? Um, it's cool because you could run View Studio on it, right? You could run uh, uh, Studio 5000, you could view, run VUSE on the same thing as you're running your, your Compact Logix on. And it's supposed to be very fast. When I saw the demo, it was very fast. But um, will it be, what will the price be, I guess is what I'm saying. Will it be just cheaper to buy an industrial computer brick and mount it to the panel? So it'll be very interesting to see. Now, if you want to know more about this, check out the companion article over at theautomationblog.com. There's also a video in there from Rockwell. And there's a poll, so you can let me know what you think. And even a link where you can actually click on the link and leave me a reply to the article. Tell me your thoughts about this product. But it does seem very cool, but... I think the price will be uh, what determines whether or not people are going to use it. And with that, that's the end of this video. Now, if you know anybody who needs to learn how to use the Control Logics in Studio 5000, Iris Logix 5000, um, please ask them to take a look at theautomationschool.com. I have a course up there, PAC Basics, that teaches you everything you need to know about the Control Logics and about uh, Studio 5000 and Iris Logix 5000, including scheduling control net, setting up Ethernet and uh, just a whole lot more, it's connecting the VFDs, etc. So ask them to check it out if they need to get up to speed on Control Logic Studio 5000, RS Logic 5000. And with that, that's the end of this video. Until next time, peace.